What's up, Grizz Nation? I'm here with Grizz summer coach Jason March following another win here in Las Vegas. Coach, you remain unbeaten after two games in which you beat teams by 20 points for those first two. You said adversity was coming. Adversity came tonight as the Magic got back in this one. What did you like from your team in terms of their response and figuring out a way to get another win? Uh, composure. I, uh, we felt, you know, in Salt Lake City we had three close games. Um, I, I knew that at some point that would prepare us for when that happened to us again. Um, proud of our guys. I mean, we uh, you can tell we're a little fatigued mentally, physically, um, definitely physically. Um, so I felt like we started letting go of the rope a little bit. It just wasn't there for us at times. But as soon as it got close, I, I used that timeout. I hated using that timeout because you never know if you may need it. But I felt like I needed to say some stuff. And um, to all of the guys' credit, I mean, responded really well. I think we went on a 10-0 run. We amped up our defense like we had played in these first two, and that's what allowed us to get out and then run and, and uh, gave us some easy buckets. So I'm um, just proud of the group. I mean, like I said, this is a long process, a long journey. Um, fatigue is starting to set in at times, but um, guys are battling their tails off, and it, at the end of the day, that's all you can ask for from a group of guys. That run that you mentioned, it was when the Magic tied it up at 80 all early in that fourth quarter. Scotty Pippen, I believe it was a 13 0 run, and he had nine of the 13. Just what a luxury is it to have a great guard like Scotty Pippen Jr. leading this offense in times like these? Yeah, I mean, first of all, thank you for asking me about him. Um, uh, this young man, this whole summer league from training camp on, people don't get to see training camp. I mean, he's. He's been unbelievable. Um, I'm, I'm so I'm really proud of him. Um, he's getting a lot of attention that um, is well deserved attention. He um, he keeps our composure. I mean, he's the same player day in, day out, days off. He's the same guy. Um, he's a competitor, hard worker, and then you see everything on the court. I mean, he if he's not the best defender out here in Vegas, he's got to be one of them because uh, I, I haven't seen much uh, much better. So I'm proud of him, happy for him. Um, hopefully we can continue to, to do this um, as we move forward. Another player who started getting a lot of attention last season, Gigi Jackson. You know what he can do as a scorer. He has 27 points tonight. Back-to-back -to -back games with double-digit rebounds for Gigi as well. What have you liked from his game? Yeah, Gigi, I'm gonna, I keep challenging him over and over. Um, I try to be probably tougher on him than, than some of the other guys. I don't know if I, I think he likes it. it. It is what it is. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to continue to challenge him because um, there's just so many things you can lose focus as the game goes on. So tonight where I'm going with this is I felt like there were times where he was starting to get frustrated, maybe getting his head, but he moved on. He let it go, um, found that same focus, that same um, composure. Um, and then got the energy back and it was picking up full court and those types of things that kind of helps uh, fuel him like that. He's a young player. He's got so much room to grow. He'll continue to do that because he works his tail off. All right, last question for you. You mentioned the word fatigue. This was your sixth game in 10 nights. Tomorrow you will play your seventh. How do you get this group ready to get back out there? Um, honestly, I, I'm not too worried about it. Um, I mean, we saw the schedule when it came out. Uh, we knew that that back to back was probably one that was going to be tough for us. I feel like we're sitting in a very good situation. We've we've uh, accomplished so far what we came out here to do um, individually and as a team. I'm not too concerned about it. If we have some guys that are that are too fatigued, we'll be smart with them. And we've got some guys over there that you all have not seen play very much that I have a lot of confidence in. So um, I, I'm not very concerned about it. Um, we'll reevaluate tonight after we see what all happens and these guys get treatment and we go through all that. But um, like I said, just happy for where we're at right now, and we'll face tomorrow uh, when we wake up and see that beautiful hot sun. <laughs> you likely can't compete for a Summer League championship if you don't start 3-0. Right. Congrats, Coach. Thanks for the time. Thank you.